So Dr. Kim, you're a meat scientist specializing in muscle biochemistry, so you know a lot about meat color and spoilage. And some people think that if their meat appears brown, it must be spoiled. Is it as simple as that? No, it's not true. Although most of the cases people rely on determining meat freshness and wholesomeness based on the meat color, but there are many factors involved in meat color. Simple color change doesn't necessarily mean that meat's spoiled. Good example will be sliced apple. If you see that apple, as time goes by, you see some color change, but it's still good to eat, right? So the color change of the meat kind of following the same, similar trend like apple. Uh, uh, it's still very wholesome, safe. You know, it's well within the shelf life. I have experience with my wife. She bought a, a ground beef from local butcher shop, and she was really mad when she opened the package and see the inside, this ground, uh, brown ring inside, discoloration. She thought that the butcher kind of cheating us because she kind of, uh, butcher's kind of mixing the old beef and fresh beef to sell the product. But that's not the true. I mean, that's not what it is. It's a simple protein chemistry change due to oxygen partial pressure. So if a consumer is trying to assess whether meat is fresh or spoiled, what should they look for? The best way of doing, the number one step would be rely on use or fridge by date. And then there are very distinctive indicators of food microbial or spoilage, uh, such as off odor. If you smell, the meat smell other uh, putrid or sour, that's kind of start to speculate. And if you see some texture-wise slimy, tacky, then uh, definitely that's an indication of meat's been spoiled. It should be discarded. But simple color change is not necessarily indicating meat's been spoiled. Why does some meat look bright red in the case, but then others might look brownish or purplish? What's going on there? That's a very good question. To better explain that, I need to kind of go back and briefly talk about the myoglobin chemistry. Myoglobin is the protein that responds for meat color, and depending upon the chemical state of myoglobin, meat color changing from purple red to bright red to brown red. And there are many factors affecting the chemical state of the myoglobin. One good example is vacuum packaging. If you see the vacuum packaging as the purplish red color because no oxygen binds to the myoglobin. But if we open the vacuum, the repackaging to over a PVC or just put it in the uh, plate, it's bloom, the oxygenation occur, it changes into oxymyoglobin, which is bright cherish red color. But unfortunately, as time goes by, this oxidation starts forming ugly brown myoglobin formation, which most consumers don't prefer to buy it. So the packaging is a really big deal, impacting meat color. Another interesting factor I want to share is different um, muscle fiber type. Even though the meat from the same animal, same carcass, uh, it has quite different color and color stability. For example, T-bone steak or porterhouse, it has loin and tenderloin between the T-bone. Loin is very color stable, whereas tenderloin, color labile, usually quickly gone to brown discoloration. So even from the meat from same carcass, have different color stability. What about when you see an iridescent look on a meat product, kind of shimmery, what does that mean? Iridescence is also another simple color changing. Uh, it's not necessarily indicating of any meat spoilage at all. It's still very wholesome, uh, very safe. Uh, it's just mostly composed of water, fat, protein, and minerals. When the lights hit on the surface, there's a reflection occurs, just simply changing like a rainbow uh, color reflection. So uh, it's not really related to any misspoilage at all. What about with cooked meat? Is color a good indicator of safety and doneness? No, again, uh, meat color is not a good indicator of determining the degree of doneness of cooked meat. The best way of measuring the degree of doneness is using thermometer to make sure that your meat reaches the internal temperature as it's recommended by USDA. So it sounds like what I'm hearing from you is that it's not as simple as the color in terms of indicating spoilage and that we really need to be using use-by dates and sell-by dates as Very our guide. I, I, agree. I, I definitely agree with that. So use or free to buy when it comes to fresh meat selection or for when it comes to cooked meat, definitely use a thermometer to make sure that temperature reaches the right temperature.